The Society of Automotive Engineers Southern California section chose to honor Gail Banks with the Peter Bryant Challenge Award. While it's an amazing honor to share this award with the likes of Dan Gurney, Phil Remington, and Ed Iskandarian, it also presented an opportunity to speak with SAE students about the future of automotive engineering and Banks power. Uh, our next honoree is the uh, ageless Gail Banks. And uh, I like the best nickname is the Godfather of Diesel. But uh, he's more than that. And Gail has, both Carol and Gail have a special place in SAE history because they've been active with us and done so many things. I pulled through the archives. Gail, do you remember you spoke at an SAE meeting back in 1988? I think we're a little bit overdue to have you back as a speaker. If it wasn't for Gail, we probably never would have had the partnership with SEMA. Because both SAE and SEMA, they're great organizations, but they have bureaucracy. And it takes someone at a high enough level to kick through the bureaucracy. And that was Gail. So from that standpoint, and he hires a ton of Formula and Baja uh, graduates. Uh, he supports uh, particularly Cal Poly Pomona, his alma mater. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't even want to take him on a street fight. This guy is so fit and he's so young. Uh, he thinks like a 20 year old in terms of inquisitive nature. And we're lucky that he's a part of SAE. And anytime we do one of these events, he usually calls and says, hey, can I come and talk you a few minutes on the microphone? Said, Absolutely. He just made a mistake and gave me the microphone. So I, I think like a 20 year old because I work with a whole lot of 20 year olds. This is my 65th year in business and I'm just kind of starting to peak. <laughs> so I, I hope the peaking thing goes on for another 10 or 15 years. I found the secret formula. Stay fit, eat right, and stay employed. This is Marine Stadium behind me in Long Beach. We ran fuel hydroplanes in that stadium. We ran twin turboed, 1800 horsepower alcohol burning jet boats in that stadium, circle racing. We come from racing, but it's not just one dimensional. You know, we're pioneers in the turbocharging industry. That turbocharged Firebird is on the salt flats in 1987. That's a door slammer. Everything Firebird is in that car. That's an 87 GT. Our best mile was 283 miles an hour in 1987. Sound like a current number to you guys? We did it a long time ago. We have a magic place to work. What are we doing right now? Real heavy research, racing, military, electrification. We're taking the Department of Defense into the future. We're hybridizing vehicles for the military. So we have real good equipment, real good capabilities. We're doing series hybrid for heavier vehicles. We're doing parallel hybrids for lighter vehicles. Hybrids that can export power. Hybrids that can run silently, of course. P2 hybrids where you can declutch the ice and run on the MGU. Of course, we're, we're gonna take this to the street. Half the people at banks are double E's. So it's not just hard parts. It's animating the hard parts. We have a lot of patents that we do. And I teach anybody who comes to work for us. Very important thing to do, but when you do bleeding edge, you're doing stuff that hasn't been done before. That's patentable, generally speaking. That's what we do at banks. Somehow, we stay in business doing it. Banks. Miles, did you get it? All eyes to Miles. Yeah. 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 Yeah.